Hello everyone, my name is Christos Pitis and I am a Dynamics 365 Business Central Consultant. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a sales code in Outlook, email it back to the customer, convert it to a sales order, post it and send the invoice back to the customer again. Finally, I will show you how the customer will use the Microsoft Pay link to settle the payment. In this scenario, Super Mario is a purchasing manager and works for Alpine Sky House, a significant customer of ours. The customer requests an item via email. The Business Central user receives the email and from within Outlook creates a sales code and email it back to Super Mario. In the first instance, the Business Central user clicks the Contact Insight, a Business Central add-in, to get an overview about the customer like balance, aging, sales, ongoing sales codes and orders, etc. Right after, he clicks New so to create a new sales code. Outlook recognizes the product and suggests line items. The user clicked OK to accept the suggestion. The sales code has been created, the total price looked fine and the payment service switched to Microsoft Pay. The final step was to email it back to the purchasing manager. The purchasing manager received the sales quote and gave the go-ahead for the sales order and delivery. The Business Central user received the confirmation and converted the sales quote to sales order and posted it. The customer received the sales invoice and shipment and clicked the Microsoft Pay link to settle the payment. The Business Central user checked the interaction log entries to verify whether the interactions have been saved under the customer's contact card.